Hey guys, good evening. I am coming at you with some pretty big news, uh, some pretty big changes to our house. If you can't see all this paint behind me, Anthony and I talked about it and we decided that we are going to repaint our whole house a different color. <laughs> Say hi. I've been booted from the blog, and so I don't count anymore. <laughs> My name's Nameless. <laughs> yeah, Anthony's in here taping. I've been taping the past couple days too. Um, so if you see our house, it's like this tan color, and then the kitchen is this bright blue color. It's or dark. dark blue, I guess, but it's just like bright like BAM. And then if you've seen upstairs, all the rooms are different colors. And we've been walking through houses a lot while looking for a new house. And the one thing that we've seen that is pretty across the board on houses that we like are the fact that they're all one color and they're all a gray color. And so our realtor and our parents and everybody thinks that our house value will definitely increase if we put this work in and so obviously we're not gonna hire painters because that's way too expensive. I mean, just getting the supplies and the paint is already gonna be so much money. So we're gonna do it ourselves. We're gonna try to do half a room a night or a room a night, depending on what we can do. Um, it has to be at night because we have kids, which doesn't give us a lot of time to paint, but we're just gonna do what we can. Um, and so we've had these different gray colors that we've been going through. So this agreeable gray color is the most popular gray col color that is sold. So we got this one. The Repose is another very popular color. This French paint my parents used in their house, so they let us like look at it and see what we thought. And then Anthony picked out this essential one just to give us another color to decide. And so we were going back and forth, but in the end we picked the French. We just kind of like that color. A little better the problem was is my parents got it at like a sherwin-williams store and um the sherwin-williams by us was closed so we went to lowe's and had them match it the color as best as they could it's not the same color it's similar but it's definitely not the same so we're just gonna go with it we bought five gallons in this huge bucket of paint this is this huge bucket of paint it costs us $200 for this bucket of paint, and I don't even think that's gonna be enough because we're gonna paint the whole house, the whole inside of the house. Are we crazy? Maybe. <laughs> but is it gonna help increase the value of our house? Yes, so it's worth it. So we are gonna try and paint as much as we can the living room. We're gonna start there and just keep working on the main floor and then eventually do the upstairs. It's gonna be the hardest to do the kids' rooms because we can't do it at night when they're sleeping, so there's gonna be have to have a time where like, I'm watching the kids and Anthony paints during the day or vice versa or something like on a weekend. But the whole rest of the house we can just do at night. So that's what we're doing. Um, we're taking everything off the walls and the hardest part in the living room is gonna be this TV because it's mounted to the wall and then um, behind our stand there's tons of wires so that's gonna be really difficult to get around but we're gonna make it work so goodbye to this tan color it's called beachy keen we'll never forget this color <laughs> we thought we liked it <laughs> when we first painted it five years ago but it is going I don't remember what this blue color was called but it's downstairs I could go look at it if you guys are interested but yep we're gonna repaint the whole thing. So here we go. I'll keep you guys updated on our progress. Hey guys, so it's been a day or two. Um, we finished painting the living room. So I'll show, I mean, you can see behind me, but I'll show you guys. So here, as you can see, everything is now gray. Sorry about the light. The windows kind of mess it up, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like in the day <laughs> instead of at night. Um, we worked really hard, taped it all, painted it all, and took all the tape back off. It was definitely hard getting behind the TV. We ended up just leaving it mounted and just painted around it. When we finally do move, we're gonna take the mount off the wall because we're gonna take it with us and we'll just have to quickly like paint. There's gonna be like a square that we'll have to paint over. But everything else we were able to move around and get around. We were able to just do one 
coat of paint and then I just went through afterwards and just did touch-ups here and there um, where we saw the beachy keen coming through. Even now, um, I'll walk through the living room and I'll see like a spot here or there that I have to touch up, but um, definitely better than doing a second coat because that's just more time. Um, definitely the longest part, the most time consuming part of this whole process is definitely taping everything off because you just have to be so particular about it to make sure that you cover up the whole either ceiling or crown molding or whatever it is you're covering up um, because you just don't want to have to go back and do touch-ups on the white which unfortunately we are gonna have to do because either there's like gray paint new paint or beachy keen paint from five years ago um, on the on the ceiling or on the baseboards or you know wherever so definitely gonna have to go through but i definitely like it we were really worried picking a color it wasn't the color we thought we wanted um, but looking at it now it looks awesome it definitely took a couple days to get used to just because it's such a change you know five years of you know living in a house and you see one color and then all of a sudden it's a different color also the hardest part about each room that we go through is you have to take everything off the walls and put everything in the middle and so the whole room is just kind of like discombobulated you can't use it for a couple days the living room is really hard because um you know we couldn't really watch tv we disconnected all the cords so that we could paint so the tv was out of commission couldn't even sit on the couches because they were like in the middle everything was on the couches so that was a really hard room to not be able to use but it is back it is um painted and done. Now we're moving on to um, the kitchen and that process and then um, moving on to the hallway, um, dining room and playroom and then moving upstairs. But I just wanted to keep you updated. Have you gone through and painted your whole house? Um, what color did you do? Gray really seems to be the most popular color, neutral color right now, more popular than white. Anthony said this and I totally agree with him. Us painting our house this gray color and it's all one color, it just helps new uh, potential buyers come in and just see a blank slate that they can you know personalize it however they want and I really agree with him because I think that's what makes us like gray houses so much um, because it is like a blank slate and we can just personalize it how we want um, I'm really hoping in our next house it's just a neutral color that we don't have to paint because I really don't ever want to have to paint a house again after painting our whole house for the second time. So cross your fingers that we find something that is neutral and not needing paint. Um, still have not found a new house yet, but it's okay because it's giving us time to do the work on this house that we need to and not be stressed and in a time crunch. It's also nice just having Anthony and I go through it together because we obviously care about it and so we're putting a lot of good effort into it instead of just like somebody coming in and not caring and just trying to get it done as, as fast as possible and be sloppy about it. So that's good and also it's fun to have time that we spend together every night i mean we spend time together every night but a lot of times it's like not talking and just watching a show or if they will go work out and i'll just stay home and so at least um with us doing this work together we're talking or we're listening to music together or podcasts or something so it's good bonding even though we don't want to be doing this work it's it's fun to do it with uh, your best friend, which is what we're doing. So anyway, just wanted to keep you updated. It is gray now and we are moving on to the next room. I won't show you the kitchen because it is a hot mess, <laughs> um, but I will definitely keep you updated and show you the progress as we go. Um, are we crazy for doing this? Let me know down below. Um, but you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to see the final, you know, transformation of the whole house for sure. If you're curious, go back in one of my like first few vlogs and I took you on an empty house tour of this house when we first bought it before we had moved anything in or painted or anything. Go back and watch that vlog and see um, 
what you think about that paint compared to the paint we're doing now and let me know your thoughts but uh yeah this is just a really quick vlog just letting you know major changes coming to our house we're hoping it'll pay off um in somebody wanting our house and wanting to pay a lot for it so we will see but i will see you guys in the next vlog uh make sure to like and subscribe bye